peace and love. Beautiful Libras, let's go ahead and tap into the energy. My Libras who are dealing with water signs, okay? That's Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energies. They can have these water signs in their chart, okay? Water deals with emotions. We're going to tap into that energy, okay? So if you're dealing with a water sign, let's go ahead and tap in Libra. Cards for Libra dealing with water signs. Thank you, Spirit. Cards for Libra dealing with water signs. All right. Ten of Swords is here. Some type of painful ending, okay? Chariot is here. Cancer, that's water sign. Some type of movement forward. Some type of willpower. Some type of victory someone is looking for in the energy, okay? Let's talk about it. And we will put a full spread for this energy, okay? You have uh, the Nine of Cups energy, okay? Mm -hmm. Dealing with the water element. Uh, you have uh, the Hierophant that's here. This is Earth energy, Taurus energy, okay? And we got more water out here with the Two of Cups and the Eight of Cups energy, okay? Mm -hmm. And let's go ahead and get two more out here. We're going to take from the top. Three of Pentacles is here. And the Eight of Wands is here. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's talk about this energy. Now, there's some type of painful ending, all right, that has happened. Um, someone ended something and they are now in control and wanting to move forward on the chariot. This is cancer energy, okay? More cancer energy. Um, Pisces as well as Scorpio energy with the Nine of Cups that's here. Someone wants their wishes fulfilled. It's as if they're going towards their wish fulfillment, right? Uh-huh. And they've had to tap into their higher selves is what I'm getting, okay? We're going to tap into all of these and clarify them all. But it's definitely the energy of Cancer and Venus together here with this Two of Cups. Someone wants to move forward when it comes to a divine union is what I'm seeing here, okay? And they could have had to leave something behind, someone behind, someplace behind in order to go towards something better with the Eight of Cups being here, more water and energy, definitely dealing with some emotions, okay? with some true emotions here, okay? They want to collaborate in this energy with the Three of Pentacles being here. Mm -hmm. Some type of collaboration. There'll need to be some communication. This collaboration could also involve um, something that has to do with uh, talking, okay? Communication overall, okay? And even some travel. You got the Ten of Pentacles that's here. I'm seeing someone wanting to build something that is long-lasting. Something, yeah, it's definitely something that is long-lasting. You got the Ten of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups energy, okay? Someone wanting to build a stable future and um, a stable inheritance when it comes to a legacy, okay? So let's talk about this Ten of Swords energy. Ten of Swords, why is the Ten of Swords here? For my leaders dealing with water sign energies. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm, it's an emperor. It's an emperor. Yeah, an emperor has gone through a painful ending. Could even be a divorce for some of you, okay? It's lies that have been uncovered, found out. Uh huh. Seven of Swords is in the reverse. Give me the chariot. The chariot. He was dealing with the water, sun, energies. Yeah, they want this Ten of Cups energy, more water and energy. This is someone who is emotionally fulfilled, who wants to be emotionally fulfilled with this Ten of Cups here. This is the Two of Swords says here as well, okay? So someone could have been um, double-minded or even needing some time to meditate on this energy, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and clarify more of this energy. It's, I mean, it's very clear to me. Yeah, someone definitely, there was a stalemate. There was a stalemate in the energy. Something came to a halt. Give me the Ten of Cups in this energy. Ten of Cups. All right. 
Oh. Wow. Okay, look. These two wanted to come out together. More emotions, okay? Now, you could be this Queen of Cups. Your person could be this Queen of Cups energy, okay? Uh-huh. But what I'm seeing is there's definitely the energy of a Queen of Cups that's here. And a love offer that's going towards the Queen of Cups energy, okay? We're going to go ahead and bring those on out. There's some type of judgment. It could even be an awakening happening in this energy. Your person could have gone through an awakening is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull one more on that energy. Give me the Queen of Cups with the Page of Cups. This is a new love. It's a new feeling. A new proposal of some sort. Uh -huh. Let's see the energy. Uh -huh. Let's see. All right. Mm. There's a King of Pentacles that's in the reverse. Interesting. Uh, and a Queen of Pentacles that's in the reverse. Wow. Okay. So, with the Page of Cups being here, this is the energy. What I'm getting is someone wants to move forward, okay? And they're in control. They're moving forward to be emotionally fulfilled with this Ten of Cups energy. And this could be your person or you that is this Queen of Cups. I'm getting this is you of Queen of Cups energy. And this is a new love that's being presented to you, a new feeling, okay? Now, we do have an a energy of a King of Pentacles in reverse. This is a masculine who is down and out, okay? Someone who's greedy, someone who will do anything for money, okay? Yeah, they could have an involvement with a queen of wands who is also in reverse, okay? This is a fire sign that's in the energy. And they're in reverse. This is someone who could possibly, you know, um, do tricks for money, okay? And do a lot, a lot of other things for money as well. Mm -hmm. And a cycle was closed on this energy. A cycle was closed on this energy. And the King of Pentacles, who is normally a giving individual, they're definitely not giving to this energy anymore of a Queen of Wands. They close the cycle on this energy, okay? Now, we'll do some more clarifying. But this could be a Capricorn energy is what I'm picking up on, possibly Capricorn. Um, it's an Earth energy. Give me the Queen, the King of Pentacles in Reverse. King of Pentacles in Reverse. Tell us about this energy of a King. Of, okay, this one didn't want to go in. What is this? Yeah, they feel a lot of grief, loss, and regret in the energy. Uh-huh. Why is the Five of Cups here with the King of Pentacles in Reverse? Well, they've taken losses. It's clear. They've taken losses in this energy, okay? Now, let's see. We need the Five of Cups with this King of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. I just saw the devil. Mm, what's this? They're trapped in their head, okay? This is someone who feels, I mean, it's like they keep thinking about what it is they invested in, okay? Or even who it is they invested in, okay? They're trapped in their head about that. But they put those burdens down is what I'm seeing. Yeah, someone had to put some burdens down mm, when it came to a Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? Yeah, it could be an Earth sign energy who is under judgment, okay? Somebody could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy as well, okay? So this is a King of Pentacles who is in reverse, who is dealing with a Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? It seems like they were trapped in their head um, and they can't get over how it is they invested in this energy. It was nothing but a burden. Uh-huh. And they're under judgment now. And they're looking to heal something in order to go forward. With this Queen of Cups energy is what I'm getting, all right? Give me the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is somebody's wish fulfillment in this energy, okay? And give me the Nine of Cups for this energy. Mm -hmm. All right. A King of Swords. Wow. A King of Swords is out here. So this energy has definitely cut someone off in the energy, okay? They have cut someone off. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I'm getting because they were buried. Uh, look, this is someone who 
doesn't want to give up in the energy when it comes to their wish fulfillment. Uh-huh. Yeah. They didn't cut anyone off, okay? This is a king of swords that basically is wanting to stand in their integrity, okay? Speak the truth, be honorable in this energy and heal something because they don't want to give up in the energy, okay? This could even be, yeah, they're watching someone. They're definitely watching in this page of swords energy and they can feel left out in the cold. Tell us more about the king of swords. Now we know that all of the kings are the emperor's energy, okay? Yeah, so that's what it's feeling like. Yeah, they want to see a couple up, okay? They don't want to give up on that. Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands, the Ace of Cups comes out in this energy. Yeah, and this is this Queen of Wands that doesn't want to give up either, okay? There's just this Queen of Wands that's in reverse who is a promiscuous liar, uh huh, who dabbles in dark energy, okay? They closed the cycle on this energy. They did, okay? And you have this King of Swords who they cut this energy off. That's what they did do. But they do not want to give up on this energy of an Ace of Cups, okay? Let's talk about this Ace of Cups. Give us the energy of this Ace of Cups. Give us the energy of this Ace of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Let's talk about it. All right. There we go. Wow. This is an Ace of Pentacles that's in reverse. Someone feels like they um, missed an opportunity when it comes to prosperity and abundance. Someone could even have taken a loss, okay, when it comes to money. Now, we picked up that same energy right here when it comes to this energy of a king of pentacles in reverse who has lost a lot of money, okay? Uh-huh, well, pentacles, right? All right. Could even have affected their health as well as what I'm getting. They're wanting to move forward. They're wanting to move forward and have the four of wands, a stable new beginning. Yeah, so you have someone in the energy that has taken big hits, big losses, and they want to move forward. They could be a king of wands energy, very passionate in the energy when it comes to you. They're brokenhearted, okay? Someone is definitely dealing with some heartbreak and they feel like they missed out on an opportunity. Yeah, uh-huh, with an empress with an empress wow okay so give me the higher thing your person is being led or just spiritually connected uh yeah and manifesting oh wow passionately with the devil okay yeah let's go ahead let's look into this now we got the higher thing i'll pull for the higher thing mm -hmm. yeah and uh, the magician comes out overall energy is the devil okay let's look into this and close the cycle uh-huh. So what I'm getting is someone went into their higher self. They're manifesting in this energy. They manifested. They're manifesting with a passion. Your person could also have a Capricorn placement as well. Okay. Um, we got Taurus and we also have um, Gemini Virgo energy here as well. So let's talk about it. Devil overall energy closing the cycle. Someone no longer giving to someone who was found out to be a liar. Six of them close to the seven of swords in reverse. And there's definitely someone holding on to an energy of a justice Libra. Okay, give me the Hierophant and the Magician. That's dope. Hierophant and the Magician. Let's talk about it. Uh -huh. that's, that's powerful right there. Yeah, they're investing. Okay, they want to invest in this. Libra energy, this is justice. It's like someone wants to invest in bringing something to a balance is what I'm getting, uh-huh. They want to, and that's the truth. It's like they want to invest in the truth. I started to say the truth, but look, you got it both ways, okay? Any way you put it, okay? They want to invest in the energy of justice, fairness, the truth, okay? They become very clear. This is like a breakthrough that's happened in the energy and someone they feel as if, you know, they want you to put your swords down or someone have to put their swords down. Yeah, they want you to put the, your swords down. Libra, when it comes to this energy, because they want a new beginning in the energy, because it's a two of cups. It's a divine union that's here, okay? Let's talk about this here, two of cups energy. This is when Cancer meets Venus, uh-huh. 
Yeah, it came out, uh-huh, and they've been in hermit mode, having some introspection. New beginning, okay? Somebody could make some good love, too, is what I'm hearing. They definitely want to move forward in this energy. They've done some introspection, and they want this four of wands. Yeah, this new stable beginning, uh-huh. And it is someone who's very passionate about you, this king of cup what wands energy okay we got the emperor up here we got basically every king out here as well okay give me the eight of cups energy they walked away they walked away they walked away to go towards something better is what i got uh-huh with the eight of cups here you know, okay yeah let's talk about it they're holding on tight to this new beginning this idea something has sparked in the energy of what it is they want to create with this page of wands energy they have to put some burdens down definitely okay a queen of pentacles is here and that was the burden who is under judgment yeah this keeps repeating itself they were definitely dealing with someone this could be a mother figure, okay? This, they can ha be a mother or just be someone who is a business owner or they were in business with this person is what I'm getting as well, okay? Tell me about this Four of Pentacles energy. Four of Pentacles. Someone is holding on. What are they holding on to? Wow, some secrets, uh-huh. The things that are hidden and even some fears, but it's definitely this energy of wanting to share their emotions, okay? Uh-huh, with this Knight of Cups being the overall energy. They're holding on to that. Mm-hmm, wow. And here goes the Queen of Wands in reverse, uh-huh, who is really, it's nothing's happening. So they're manifesting. It's like there's this energy of a stalemate. This Queen of Wands in reverse, who is a witch, okay? Let's be very clear, okay? They're definitely in this energy of manifesting something that isn't moving anywhere. It's like they want to make something happen. Ah, uh, yeah, it's like they got some hope in this energy. They're wishing on a star type of energy. Yeah, and they're watching and they're spying and lurking. Why? Because they feel left out in the cold and their pinnacles are tight. This is someone who is uh, not looking so good financially. Uh-huh. They want to make some changes when it comes to that. Why are the secrets here? Why is the moon here? Someone could have a Cancer Pisces energy, more water energy. Uh-huh. Give us the moon. Give us the moon. Give us the moon in this energy. Yeah, they're definitely wishing on a star and they have a solid offer that's in this energy, okay? Yeah, give me the three of pentacles here. They want to collaborate. Who's here in this collaboration? What's going on with this collaboration when it comes to my beautiful, beautiful <laughs> Libras? Um, you have someone who's made a choice when it comes to the lovers, okay? Gemini energy, and this is a king of cups energy, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, okay? Yeah, they have a cup of emotion. This is someone who is emotionally intelligent, who has found out about some lies and some deceit, okay? Yeah, they have. Let's talk about it. When it comes to the lovers, okay? Who does they collaborate it with is what I'm getting? Mm, what they find out. Oh, yeah. When it comes to her, this Queen of Wands in reverse, who could be a, a fire sign, okay? And I'm feeling like they, she also shows up in masculine energy. Yeah, they want a new beginning. They want a new beginning. They don't want to be lied to by a witch, okay? Uh -huh. they, I mean, someone was in business with a witch. Yeah, and this is them wanting a new beginning and some balance, even the ancestors supporting in this energy. Give me the tw give me the lovers. Give me the lovers. Tell us more about this lovers. Tell us about these lovers in this energy. All right. Wow. These two. I'm gonna let that rock out. Mm -hmm. They don't want to give up. Someone doesn't want to give up. They're imbalanced right now. Okay. They're imbalanced. They're horribly imbalanced in this energy, and they don't want to give up. Mm -hmm. They could be blocked. Your person could be blocking this energy out of their energy is what I'm getting. Yeah, to go towards what they want passionately is what I'm getting. Tell us more about this nine of wands and the energy. Nine of wands and the energy. 
Yeah, yeah. This is somebody who wants to give to a queen of swords. Libra, this is somebody who wants to give to a queen of swords. They want to create some type of balance in the energy, okay? While their person from the past does not want to give up. They're looking to give to you because they see you as a high priestess energy. They do. Uh-huh. They do. And this is also Pisces energy as well as Virgo placement, okay? You can have either one of those placements. You are someone nostalgic from their past with the Six of Cups being here is what I'm getting. They want to move forward, okay? So let's go ahead and dip into the energy of the Eight of Wands. Get ready to close it out for my beautiful Libras dealing with these here water signs, okay? Yeah, give me this energy, Spirit. Give me the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, that's communication, even travel, okay, via plane, okay, via air, uh-huh, yeah. They might show up on a hot air balloon. <laughs> They've been thinking about you, okay? They're definitely thinking about you. Uh, a lot of, look, this is the Queen of Pentacles that's here, okay? This Queen of Pentacles energy is an earth sign. Let's look into this energy, okay? It may be a Queen of Pentacles that has been thinking about possibly reaching out to you or trying to make something happen fast. This is also fast movement, okay? Momentum in the energy. Uh-huh, yeah. They close a cycle on this energy. So this, this conversation, this movement, this is someone that has, you know, been in retrospection thinking. This mother figure energy that got a cycle closed out on them, okay? Give me this Queen of Pentacles energy. Ooh. Wow. The Empress flips over in the energy. We're going to take the Empress, okay? <laughs> yeah, look. There's an Empress here. An Empress here in the energy, okay? So, let's look at this. Let me see. How did I put these back in here? Mm. Okay. There we go. All right. Give me the Empress in this energy. Give me the Empress with the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress with the Queen of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Give me this energy. Somebody's really thinking about the Empress. This Queen of Pentacles is thinking about the Empress. Yeah, they're thinking about the Empress moving forward, okay? This is someone who they tried to be in a battle with of some sort, okay? This is someone that found like some type of competition. A cycle was closed out on that. So if there was a Queen of Pentacles energy trying to create some type of obstacles for an Empress, that ended, okay? A cycle has closed out, and they're getting karma for it too, okay? There you go, Libra. They're getting karma for messing with an Empress energy, okay? And you are moving forward with the Six of Swords that's here. Give me the Six of Swords for my Empress. Give me the Six of Swords for my Empress. Beautiful ones. Yeah. Someone is left out in the cold and a new beginning has started, okay? Someone is moving forward and that would be the Empress, right? Six of Swords lands on the Empress, okay? But this Queen of Pentacles who's been sitting up thinking and even probably wanting to reach out to you, message you, or even change some things in energy, they were left out in the cold for this here new beginning that's here, brokenhearted. Can't make this energy up. Beautiful ones, I'll be back in the energy this evening. Uh-huh, yeah, I'll be back in energy this evening. Yeah, it, it, it's a King of Cups energy that's definitely having to make a decision. Let's go ahead and peek behind the King of Cups, which is water. Uh-huh, they feel like they missed the opportunity. Yeah, they do. They feel like they missed out and they're stressed out, having anxiety at night about it. Sleepless nights is what I'm getting. They want to work on something. They want to work with the energy of an empress and have expansion in the energy. Yeah, that's what's going on, beautiful ones. They're in hermit mode right now. <laughs> Let's tap in a little later. I'll be dipping off into Libra, dealing with fire signs, beautiful ones. I am Empress 444, and this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love.